All right, back with Slender the Arrival for one more time. I'm going to attempt to show off the secret stage. Now, I don't know if they put that in any of the console versions, uh, so we're going to find out. If not, I'm going to try it again on the PC. But I don't know why they would take it out of out of uh, the console version. All right, so we're going to skip that. Ah, uh, sorry. Had to adjust the volume on my headset. Alright, so the first step is getting to the house. Seems simple enough. So I do have the, uh, <laughs> walkthrough or guide to do this in front of me, so... <laughs> that way I don't miss anything. Um... So I'm gonna take a shortcut through the woods. Let's try to take a shortcut through the woods. Oh, you can't go through that. Right, maybe we can cut some of this out. That way, it wouldn't be too long a video. I do love how like the sun sets uh, very quickly if you take this route. <laughs> if you go down the the path, it doesn't go down as quick. But or maybe it does. I don't remember. I just played it recently. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do now that we're at the house is we are going to go to the swing set. Okay. The swing set is right Yeah. Yep, remember playing it when we were kids. That's what we're looking for. So next, we are going to play the piano. Okay. And if, you, if I hadn't have done this during my playthrough of this, I would uh, get the trophy. So you need to keep playing until it uh, shows that text. Yeah, this sounds familiar. Okay, so next step is uh, getting or turning on the radio. <clears throat> oh, come on. Okay, radio's on. Now we gotta find the flashlight. Oh, I hate that radio. It's too loud. Alright. Flashlight acquired. That's not it. Acquired. Okay. Alright, so the final step in order to unlock this is uh, to go up to this poster here. I don't know if I screwed it up by playing the answering machine. We'll, uh, we'll see. Nope. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We've, uh, we've started it. Alright, so, you see it looks a little different. Let's start the game. <laughs> I'm lost, can you find me? And this is what I was talking about when, uh, a, you know, there's a level that looks like it came straight out of a creepypasta. Alright, here we go. We're at the glitched house now. Oh, flashlight won't do any good here. I remember playing on this. Yep, still the same. All right, can I get in the house? Oh, what? Oh. Okay. <laughs> now we're getting into into the, uh, delirium territory. Uh, that's the swing set. So we're looking out front there. Okay. Say so this is a uh, really tri trippy. It's been a while since I've I've done this. I don't remember what I ha what I have to do. Uh, okay. Well, I like how it's nice and bright now. I can see everything. Can I answer phone? No. Oh, can I go out back? No. Oh, the door was locked anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't. Uh, 
No, oh, well, oh. As I say, it's letting me through this. Ooh, flashing trees. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. I'm stuck here forever. Uh, which room am I in now? Oh, boogie boards. Nice. Uh, hope that door's locked. Oh. Well, okay. So, can I see... Oh, that's, that's always there. Uh, I can't see it. Oh, I picked something up. I'm <laughs> not sure what I picked up. The collectible's not here. You love the soundtrack. I know you do. Um... Okay. Well, we knew that. Oh, I'm back in here. I don't want to go in here. Okay, so I guess... Uh... Oh, okay. Well, interesting. My uh, controller's freaking out, too. Oh, they want to play a game with me. And here is the creepypasta part. <laughs> Alright, back to the title screen. Alright, um, let's try stage selection. Oh. Uh, that's nothing but Charlie's. Um, uh, I don't, it doesn't seem like I can select anyone in particular. Alright, so let's see what else it's got for us. It's kind of cool they included uh, this in the game. Although this is the exact same thing I just did, so... Well, let's go through the garage, I guess. Let's try doing something different. Well, that door's locked. Okay. Well, that didn't sound good. Oh, so now there's no, like, things. Hmm. I'm guessing there's something in the house this time, maybe? You hear that creepy stuff. Hmm. I don't know. Like I said, I don't... I don't, uh... Remember... I hate that noise, though. I don't remember what, uh... Happens in this part. Either part, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, did, did you find me, or did I find you? Oh. oh that's right, I'm on fire now. <laughs> so I can't move. Um... Oh, there he is, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, come here. Stop moving around. There he is. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> See, it's just like a video game creepypasta. <laughs> kind of reminds, reminds me of, uh, of Ben, uh, ben Drowns. So we have released, end this, or start game. Let's start game and see what happens. Uh... Okay. I can't move around or look around. Uh-oh. I can't even see anything. Oh, okay. So let me... Let me go back to the... Guide real quick. Yeah, it looks like that is the end of this little secret level. So I guess release end this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like it takes you back to the normal title screen. So yeah, that was the uh, hidden level. I don't think you can select it from here. Um, but it's easy enough that you just go to the prologue and follow those three or four easy steps and you get yourself your little creepypasta thing. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Just want to show it off. <laughs> so I think that does it. Uh, that about does it for Slender Man: The Arrival, or Slender: The Arrival. <laughs>